make some noise! Yes! Oh, here we go, as I come to you. Yeah, all right. Woo! -hoo. Nice. Look at all of these lovely people. Awesome. You guys just came here on your own accord just to hang out in the booth, huh? Oh, wow. So my name is Madison Alexander. I'm happy to be here. Now, Custom Ed USA is located in Orlando, Florida. It is the exclusive distributor of the Custom Ed brand for the U.S. and for the international market as well. Now, Custom Ed Inc. was established in 1989 following the market's need for a manufacturer of surgical kits, packs, and trays. Now, the company assembles customized surgical trays as simple as a you know, suture removal kit or as complicated as an open heart surgery pack. Now, Custom Med is ISO certified, FDA registered, and CE mark as well. Now, the organization is also a minority-owned company. And that's right. So let's talk about our case carts. Now, a case cart is a stainless steel vehicle equipped with all of the components and supplies necessary to complete a surgical procedure from pre-op all the way to post-op. Every case cart is customizable and is designed according to the needs and specifications of the surgeon. Now let's talk about assembly. Now Custom Ed is ISO certified as I mentioned, so there's quality in everything that we do. Now each case cart production is performed per Custom Ed standard operating procedures which control the handling, the storage, the packaging, the prevention, and the actual delivery of the product as well, all of that. So we have quality standards that ensure that the raw material, sub-assembly, and final products are damaged or contaminated, all right? Now let's talk about our quality control process audit. So. All of the packs that need sterilization are transferred to our own sterilization site, that's right, to complete all of the processes required for sterility assurance. And this is a 100% ethylene oxide sterilization process, which is done in three steps. So number one, there are 12 hours of preconditioning that we do. Number two, there are eight hours of sterilization. And number three, there are 12 to 24 hours of aeration as well. Now, sterilization process it complies with uh, AMI standards, all right, so it guarantees that the sterilization uh, and the safety of our products, that's right. Now, sterile products are not released until their sterility is confirmed through microbiological testing. Now, let's talk about our burst test and sealing. Okay, so once this product is complete, the quality assurance personnel performs an inspection of the quality attributes, including the labeling, the sealing, and the packaging integrity as well. And then we have our sub-assembly bundle packaging. So at this stage, the product is labeled, it's sealed, and it's packaged right into the case, okay? And then it's time for assembly. So case carts are transferred to a clean area where they're wiped down by QA personnel with lint-free cloths and a disinfectant agent, of course. And QA then verifies the case cart integrity and the cleaning. Now each cleaning is documented, it's logged before and after each inspection. And of course, personal protective clothing like hair covering and gloves are used during every single stage of the process. It's extremely clean. So manufacturing personnel assemble each case cart with the required packs, supplies specified by the institution. Okay. Then we do some component verification. So QA personnel performs a verification process, ensuring that the case carts are manufactured according to written procedure. Now quality attributes such as the packs integrity, the labeling, expiration date, and the case cart, uh, you know, cleaning and condition are all confirmed through the inspection of each cart. So we inspect everything fully. Okay, so quarantine stage for QA release. Let me tell you about that. Now, a second QA inspector reviews all the documentation, all the tests, all the inspections and records. And once it's approved, case carts are then released for distribution. And then we do some invoice and labeling. So on here, uh, it includes, includes the institution name and the procedure, the reorder number, the contents detail, of course, the case cart identification number, and of course, the expiration date is also included. And then there's the lot number two, so you can have the capability to ensure component traceability. Okay, so I'm almost done here. So here we go. Here's some case card benefits. Number one, with case cards, everything needed, everything is all in one place, okay? Including the patient setup, infusion, anesthesia, procedure materials, post-operative as well, and all materials comply with the surgeon's request and established protocol, okay, providing confidence for the surgeon and the staff. That's a good thing. Now, also, product integrity is assured by door-to-door -door delivery by trained personnel who comply with national safety and health requirements to transport the materials. 
And number two, case carts, they also increase the staff efficiency. You know, that's always a good thing. The staff can now follow the surgeon's routine. There's no time lost searching for materials all over the place. And more time is used actually attending to the patient's needs. All right, and it also reduces the patient preparation time. That's an excellent thing. The amount of time that the patient is actually in the OR and the turnover time between surgeries as well. And number three, finally, one of the most important benefits with using case cards, what is it? Cha-ching! It's, yes. it's cost reduction, folks, that's right. Because everything you need is inserted into the case cart, so there's one charge per procedure. Okay, you can avoid invoicing errors, that's right. The institution now knows the cost per unit, which facilitates negotiation with health plans, and you can obtain you know, real cost per procedure. And you can also increase institution storage space. And since they're customized, there's no wasted materials. Nothing is wasted. So the company also offers a consignee plan. So if you need information about that, let us know. Oh, and also the invoicing occurs after the product is actually used and not before.